Friday the 7th of March. Yeah, I'm heading back up to the lake. <laughs> yeah, it's bloody late. It's um, quarter past 10. Uh, probably about a fish from half past 5 till 7. Then go back to the top hut and then fish in the morning. Yeah, I got up really early to pack my bag and um, oh, I couldn't find half the stuff and oh, so we're back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so uh, it's, it's a good day, but I don't know what. Uh, I think there could be showers heading up uh, the polder, but it could be okay tomorrow. So, um, but it's not going to be real bad, and it looks doesn't look too bad looking over there now. Um, I'll just give you a gimmo can't see many clouds over the back so I think it's going to be okay yeah it's just so good to get up here the other day and I had a bit of trouble with the GoPro so I've got a new mic so I want to get that sorted out and try and get the angle sorted out you know um, so anyway and uh, try and get up there before it drops the lake's going to keep dropping you know so um, get up there as soon as possible you know <laughs> yeah anyway so I'll see you up there I'll um I'll just go as fast as I can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See ya. Yeah, I just came up a week later. I um couldn't resist it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I powered it up here because I left quite late, as I uh, said before. So um, two hours thirty-five to the truss polder. Uh, yeah, that was pretty good going, and 3 hours 40 to here, or 3, three no, now, 3 hours 35 to here, yeah, is that right? So yeah, I think that's right, <laughs> anyway, but I just want to say, apart from that, yeah, that, uh, that bike is a beast, you know, getting more confident all the time, so that's really good. Um, last Sunday there was no water in the polder at all, right? Now, there are four braids across the pole I had to cross, and the last one I had to be careful, uh, find a place to cross. So there's been plenty of rain up here, so there could be rain, uh, the lake could be filling up and could be really good. Uh, the only downside to that, I left the fly reel at home because I thought oh, I'm not going to use that, <laughs> and because uh, I can only use it when I flick into the current. Um, so anyway, so what I'll do now is I'll head up there, Get two hours fishing in at least, uh, about three maybe, two and a half, come back here, stay the night, go up there, fish in the morning and then head out. So that's really good, so I better not muck around. So um, yeah, great, the weather was alright, could be a few spits of rain later on, but who cares, yeah. <laughs> okay, better go and get into it, yeah. Okay, see ya. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, 5.30, uh, so I've got about an hour and a half. Um, but this is just amazing. The um, look at the flow flowing in. The lake is full, <laughs> and last week it was dropping, and so that river flowing out will be pumping out again. Um, so that's quite amazing. I think I've just seen one of those big black eels over there. Maybe not. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm going to fish here, <laughs> it looks really good, so we'll give it a bash, I think it looks excellent, perfect, it looks perfect, so um, we'll see how we go, eh? yeah, I'll just set up my gear, I want to see if it is this back eel, I don't know if it is or not, no, No, it's not that deal. <laughs> I can almost say I'm guaranteed I'm going to catch a fish before I go back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, I'll set this up. And yeah, okay. I uh, hope this thing's in the right bloody place. Okay. Well, here we go. It looks absolutely primo, I must say. Absolutely primo. First cast of the day, okay. 5.30 Wow, that looks so good. It really looks good. Oh, good. 
There goes my hat. Oh no! It just looks so good. Yeah, that that e-bike that's just an absolute beast. Yeah. Wow. And I, I took it in for a tune-up and he said he upgraded the software or something. I don't, I don't know, but it definitely got more power. I think the battery seems to last longer too. And my uh, mountain biking skills have improved. Oh, that bloody camera's going to blow over. Oh no, it's all good. Must be due for a strike. Boy, it's a big flow. So it's going to be full for a long time, I'd say. Probably till the end of the season after this. Man, be another river over there pumping into it. And the rip the polter is cut in real close to the truss polter hut. So there's sort of like a serious flow right there. So that's a um, bit of an obstacle. Just turn the camera off for five minutes. Oh, oh look, I just spat the hook. Just spat the hook. I saw it was a nice fish too. Yeah, I had the brake. Brake was wrong. I thought it was just a little one. It was a good one. Yeah, oh, what a shame. Oh, well, at least I hooked into one. I'll just fix this and pulled the bloody uh, wire through. Oh, that was a nice fish. Where there's one, there'll be another one. Yeah, that's all right. Woohoo! Oh, it's in the current. I think it's quite a good one. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. I thought it'd be good here. Well, I've lost that one. There's a big one swimming. Hey, that's a nice fish, man. That's a nice fish. Far out. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! Come oh, on, baby. Shit, that's a good fish. That is a good fish, man. Oh, yeah.
Oh man, it's taking that line out. It is taking that line out. Oh man, that's a nice fish, enough to make your blood boil. Man, <laughs> come on baby, light my fire. Shit! Um, it's not going to be that easy getting this thing in actually. I might dig a little channel. See if I can bring it up in there. Shit! How's that for a rainbow, man? Oh, snow! Oh, no, you wouldn't believe it! Oh! <laughs> that was a bloody... Probably one of the best fish I've ever hooked here. I was trying to drag it up in this channel that I dug. Oh! <laughs> oh well, we will land one before I go. Well that's two that I haven't landed. I might have to bring a bloody net or start bringing the net. I didn't know how I was going to land that thing, it was so big. So I dug a bloody little harbour here, but I just didn't quite get it in the right spot. Um, yeah, maybe if we get another big one, I'll walk it up there and try and bring it in. Woohoo! That was a big fish. Far out. Far out, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, we've got to get one of these onto the bank. I might actually change, put something with bigger hooks on it. Yeah, I'll put this thing on. Let's get serious, eh? Oh, the weather's packing in. The glasses are in the other pack. Yeah, half an hour, I want to land one of those big ones. That was a big fish, man. Oh, the weather's packing up. We're going to give it a go with that thing. <laughs> Might be spitting this thing out. Quite a good bit out here at ship weather. <laughs> like it's always good to be on a nice day, but sometimes I'm quite excited to be out here at ship weather too, you know. I've got two minutes of jump beams and a 
and it's a job walk, Johnny Walker. Okay. Back to the hut. I want to get back to this before dark. Okay, see you later there. That was bloody good. <laughs> uh, just a shame we didn't land that one, but man, that was a big fish. It's a beautiful fish. So um, we'll be back tomorrow morning. Hope the weather's better. Yeah, okay, see ya. Yeah, it's uh, 8 o'clock now. Just got back to the hut. I'll just settle in here and might light a fire actually. And um, yeah, that was. Oh man. That fish, well, honestly, I reckon that'll be the biggest fish I've ever hooked into in Lake Mitcham. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful trout. Oh, it's just a shame I didn't land it. Yeah, I mean, all I was going to do is pick it up and show you and <laughs> let it go anyway, but uh, it's just nice to land them. So, I, uh, yeah, I um, dug that little harbour out. I was going to try and drag it up there, you know. Um, yeah, I might have to bring a bloody net if they're going to catch big ones like that. Yeah. Um, now here's the view from the hut looking the other way. Now that straight ahead up there is the range of bibs way up there. I've been up there. Um, bloody nice and you get up above the bush line, you know. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind going up there again, but it's, uh, it's sort of like it's another excursion and you might as well come up here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, all good. I'll, I'll, uh, Looks like it's clearing up a bit, so it might be right in the morning, and we'll give another batch. Oh, no, I want to land one of those big ones, you know. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, and no, I've got a bird's nest to sort out, so I've got a bit to do tonight. Yeah, so that's all good. Okay. Yeah, it's now about 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, they're good night in the hut. And I left there uh, about 6.30 in the dark and uh, came up with a head torch. So um, I was actually going to fish over there, but I just saw two rising here, so I thought I might give it a go. So same spot as last night. And quite interesting, it's dropped a wee bit uh, because that's that channel that I dug out. Anyway, here we go. First cast of the day. Got rid of the bird's nest, hopefully. Yeah, I'll just loosen the brake off a bit. Yeah, it looks really good. Really good. And the weather's picked up a bit. Just the way you want it, really. The wee bit of overcast. Yeah, I was thinking of strategies to um, land the big one, you know. Play it right out and try and get, get his head out of the water to get, get gulps of air in and just float it into a little bay. I think that'll be what I'll have to do. That's providing I'll catch one. <laughs> Yeah, I got that big ticer on. I'll give it a go for half an hour. If nothing happens, I'll put that um, I'll put that black one back on again. Oh, right out the back there. See that? Oop. Oh no. <laughs> I'm getting trigger happy. Yeah, it came up pretty rough last night. <laughs> But it's all right. I went back to the hut. Now, a little fire. Got real nice and warm, nice and cozy. 
had little Jim Beam, those little miniature Jim Beams, they were right. <laughs> yeah, no, it's nice. And uh, yeah, it gets light a bit later now and gets dark a bit earlier. So I'm not going back unless I land one anyway, that's for sure. At least one. <laughs> Yep, switch on. Yep, oh yep. Here we go. Well, the Tizer does the job. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the Tizer. <laughs> now we want to get this one in. Not as big as the one last night. Oh yeah. Ha 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 ha. Where's it gone? Coming in. Now I hope that GoPro is in the right area. Can't see a thing yet. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh yeah, got it. Yeah, it's not a biggie. About a third of the size of the one last night, but hey. Got one on the board, eh? <laughs> Off you go, mate. There you go. Well, he's gone. Like a bat out of hell. <laughs> okay. Well, where there's one. That's good. That's good. I'm pleased about that. I just want that. I want one like the one I lost. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tim. You might as well say you're at your corner. <laughs> Tim's corner special. Yeah, if you're going to come up, come up and while this river's flowing into it, you know, and this is the spot. And maybe on the other side, just on the other side there, because there's a bit of weed over there. There could be quite a few hanging around there as well. This is the life. Yep. Yep. Here you go. You know a bad one? Oh. Ho, ho. Tim's caught up. Yeah, it took a hard. Oh. Hey, it's not a bad one. Not a bad fish actually, not a bad fish. Now, I'm out here in the water, the camera's out in the water. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to walk this one in.
come buddy oh shit nearly scrap into the tripod oh that's a nice fish that's a nice fish yeah it's not a bad little rainbow eh? look at that <laughs> hey this is good I wanted to catch another one before having my breakfast off you go mate Oh, okay, right over there, over the weed bed. See how that goes. Yep, oh yeah. Yep, oh, spat the hook. I don't know about those buddy. I put that black thing on again, and I've lost two in a row. Right, it's got a bit dead. So I'm just going to have a few more casts, I'm going to hit the road. Yeah, it's been, been absolutely great. Loved it. Especially last night with all that, all that weather coming in. Good night in the hut. Two fish this morning. Lost two. Caught two. Lost two. Yeah, 12 o'clock. We'll be out of I'm just going to get around to that f flat rock around there. Looks like a good spot. Yeah, here we go. Looking right into the sun, sorry about that. Uh oh. Danger. Oh no. Just broke the rod. Well, that's bloody great. Look at that. Cast out there, got caught in the bloody branch, pulled it, snapped my rod. Well, hello. Isn't that just bloody great? Okay, well, that really is the end of the fishing. <laughs> yeah, I just got out. Um, bloody good trip, actually, really good. A um, couple of things. Uh, when I was coming out, I went to have a fish on those rocks halfway out if you know what I mean where the the water's right down below and the sun was shining there really nice so I thought what the hell so I rigged the gear up had a couple of casts and then I cast along by the bush line you know and the bloody ties have ended up in the bloody branch and then I tried to free it and the rod snapped oh bastard yeah so that's not too good and but Quite another thing that was interesting, about 3k before the truss pulled up um, hut, last week you know, the dry riverbed was absolutely dry. Yesterday going up it was full on, knee deep, and I had to carry the bike about uh, 50 metres um, to keep it up out of the water and it was quite hard to do that. Today I come out and it was barely ankle deep with dry patches yeah that was one day yeah so that's pretty amazing yeah so things change very quickly up there yeah seriously quickly yeah yeah okay well i'll go home and put this uh, video together <laughs> if i can be bits and pieces all over the place yeah okay see you later cheers <laughs>